This is the trickiest part actually. Right this here? Point, right here, because we took it like very fast. Uh, and so, shit! So, give it one more <laughs> lap. This was fun. Oh my god. <laughs> But give it one more laugh. That was freaking terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty cool. A buddy of mine, Joshua Schachter, he puts on a self-driving car race. And he invited me and he was like, hey, come check this out. And I don't know much about cars, but I do know that I hate driving. And this is a self-driving car race. So that's kind of cool. And there's just a bunch of companies that come meet up and test out the self-driving car capabilities. Well, I'll check it out and uh, we'll see what this hubbub about autonomous vehicles is all about. When people talk about self-driving cars, you hear mostly about Waymo, Uber, Tesla, right? The, the big ones, but there's actually a ton of startups that are working on solving different problems. And a lot of them are here, just racing. Joshua, he put together this whole thing. So tell me, what are we doing here? What so, is this? So this is an event uh, called Self Racing Cars. Uh, the idea is that a lot of innovation in automotive comes out of racing. And I think it's actually kind of possible now for beginners and amateurs to autonomy to actually build vehicles that will soon, within a year or two, be able to get around a racetrack, a controlled environment, by themselves. It's not so much racing, yeah. although it's in the name, um, but the idea is that a platform where people can try stuff out and, and do cool stuff and sh show and tell. We have seven autonomous teams. We have five teams building uh, parts for autonomy, uh, drive-by-wire, sensors, LiDAR, so on and so forth. So you have like teams here that are, that are creating the whole entire package of self-driving, but also people here that are working on specific parts of self-driving. Exactly, so some, some people are building parts of the autonomous stack, some people are building the sensors. It's a lot of fun. A lot of these people don't always get to meet. Um, a lot of them are small teams that don't have time to go meet. They're just working on their products. It's a, a fun way to see what's going on. Why, why do you do this? Why, why do you put this on? Uh, I both enjoy building robots uh, and I race amateur cars competitively and I wanted to figure out a way to put the two together. And how many of these companies are you invested in? Two, <laughs> two directly, one, two indirectly, I think. So you're making sure that they're actually doing work. I, getting, I, well, I'm, I'm, pro done. I'm probably mostly distracting them from actual work <laughs> yeah. today. And then we'll, and then these cars will jump on the, on the track and they'll, uh, they're not really racing, they're just, testing so so the idea is they're testing slash trying to set a time around the track so last year uh, point one nav the red car down there um, actually set a three minute three minute 30 second lap fully autonomously so it's basically time trial format until we have the cars able to uh, run uh, in group so that's what we're working on now so comma.ai you uh, almost have to remember them what disruptor you guys at this is is all you need to drive a car. Yeah, clap! These are going to be harder to come by than a pair of Kanye West sneakers. Uh, maybe, okay. Um. And then this is like the, the newest setup. This is, uh, so this is an example of things that we can do with our open source uh, software and hardware. This is the Comayon. Is that the one he had on stage? Is that the one George had on stage? Yes, that's a newer version of that. Yeah. Version two. Yes. Oh, okay. So uh, after the NHT 
TSA and decided yeah. to investigate or however that worked out. And then yeah. you guys decided to open source the whole entire... Yeah, like the Neo was the open source platform that we had. Yeah. Some people built those. We had like hundreds of those built. And now we released the Eon, which we sell as a, a dash cam developer kit. Okay. So we cool. sell it on our website at uh, shop.com.ai. You can buy that today. Plug in merch. Yeah. <laughs> Always get the swag. <laughs> cool. And then you guys already did one lap today, and you're going to do one more in a little bit? We're yeah. going to do one more in a little bit, yes. Okay. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to jump in that uh, totally. passenger. Yes. This is the comma.ai car. They were nice enough to let me tag along. That's Ricardo. Yes. Hi, guys. Hi, Ricardo. This guy wants to get ran over right yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Still waiting for them to get off the track. Okay. okay. What are we gonna do right now? We're just gonna, we have 25 minutes, you just collect data. Drive well, actually, around. we already collected data, so we're okay. gonna be using these 25 minutes to run uh, basically as fast as we can on the track. Yeah? If there are technical glitches, I guess we've got to act to get them like some solutions. So. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So, I did, I did already try this track, I rode it with a human, and so now, autonomous. So, I need to set like a height set speed. It's kind of already autonomous, but I need to make sure. All right, ah, it's autonomous. This is the trickiest part, actually. Right this here. Point, right here, because we took it like very fast, uh, and so. Shit. So, give it one more <laughs> lap. This was fine. Oh my god! <laughs> but give it one more lap. That was freaking terrifying. <laughs> yeah. It, it, like uh, the GPS needs a little bit like of time to to, to get better, but like uh, I, I think the next lap is gonna be fine. Alright, so this was that turn. Yes. Yeah, so, so down there, let's see if uh, if if he gets like uh, if he's gonna take it better. Oh, sorry, it was limited in speed. this turn too much so yeah but it, because it was limited in speed let's try again let's give it one more lap new lap starts now all right take three on this corner yeah let's see how it handles let's see how it handles the corner Oh, it did it! <laughs> yes, and it did it. So this is yeah the faster lap. Now I removed like the speed limit of the way. Yeah. What do you think? Oof. You definitely feel, you definitely feel nauseous. <laughs> feel sick. Yeah. <laughs> last one, last one, because I'm feeling it, <laughs> man. I think it's because I'm I'm filming and I'm doing oh, this. Oh yeah, you have to watch the road. Man. Oof. This one is uh, take four on this turn. It's doing 70 miles. Oh my god. Oh my god. It actually took it pretty beautifully, though. Yes. It went pretty smooth. I know. It's so I amazing. Th I think if we can, if we go out and we record like a better line and we push every single corner like we push that one, yeah. we can get probably a similar time to human with this car, of course. Like. Maybe we can shave off like 20, 30 seconds. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to end it, huh? Yes. Woo! I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Just by a hair, beat the previous time. <laughs> what, what was the time? Two two minutes, thirteen seconds, and thirteen and a half seconds. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Good job not driving. Thank you. It was uh, <laughs> so difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I felt. Was it fun? Yeah, it was super fun. It's That's ready for this right. Uber ride. Hey, dude. Thank you. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go throw up now. So, so Andy, I'm Eddie over here. Eddie, Andy's so. in the car. We're, we're using like GPS path, so we're just yeah. gonna stay on that exact same track. The speed might be a little different. Like Andy, Andy told you your time at the end. We were like, you know, point one or two off from the the time we got before. Well, it was it was point one faster. We Man. went fast. Going, we we almost went off the track. 
both times. Uh, but but it was good though. It was pretty smooth, was right? Yeah. The car is super, like after this when I ran around the second time. Did you get to go around twice? I went around like three times. Three four times. times. Like then you're kind of comfortable, right? And then you're like, oh, I'm gonna die from throwing and up. And you're like, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but that was awesome though. Thanks guys. Thank Thanks you so much. That's man. <laughs> I got in the car because it is getting cold outside. But a couple thoughts. You know, this, I thought self driving car races were gonna be like multiple self driving cars on a track racing each other, but it ended up being more time lapse. Whoever could get the fastest, I think, uh, self driving cars racing each other on the lap would be a little bit more exciting. You know what I'm saying? A little craziness, little accents and stuff. But anyway, it was cool stuff. You know, this, I, I would think of it more as a meetup than a self driving car car race i mean it, there were still races that were happening there's still autonomous cars that are being timed on the track but it was more of a meetup in the sense that all these different startups and companies were here and they were talking and exchanging ideas and showing off their products and what they've been working on and it was fascinating i feel sick now and it has nothing to do with the cars being in a self-driving car on a racetrack is a little uncanny watching the the steering wheel move back and forth and him not doing anything. Twice, we almost went off the track in the beginning. Uh, we did four laps and so twice we almost went off and then twice he didn't even touch the steering wheel once. It does make you nauseous. I mean, I felt, I felt pretty sick towards the end with a human driver and with self-driving. Uh, otherwise, you know, if you have a chance to go to one of these meetups, you know, just hang out, meet people, try some of that cutting edge tech, it's definitely a good time. So with that, I want to bid you adieu, say hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next adventure.